Well, we're delighted uh, to be joined by Susie Leopold, uh, and so we can talk about all things Susie approved. I'm sorry you couldn't be with us for the live session with our other friends, but I'm glad you were able to make the time uh, to record this with me today. So welcome, Susie. Thank you for having me. Appreciate you taking the time to pre-record this. Oh, absolutely. I'm sorry we don't get to see each other in person this year either. We both have uh, some nice affiliations with the good folks around the Willie Morris Award uh, for Southern Southern uh, fiction and for Southern poetry for that matter. So we've gotten to meet in person uh, before yes. in that capacity. But let's talk about how you uh, entered this wonderful world of books and publishing and, and uh, all things storytelling. So what's your story? So my love for reading was not as a child. It pretty much came about when I was working, you know, I was getting my CPA and I was working in the city and I always felt like I can't read. You know, I didn't have the time to read. So when I got my CPA and I switched careers, I, I read a little bit more. I was in private accounting and then the kids came along and I got to read a bit more. Um, and then as they entered preschool, you know, I would, I found a community of people I would work out with in the morning. And with that said, they'd say, what are you reading? I would forget, I would get, and then I would remember, I don't know if this happens to you. If you forget the name of the book, you forget the name of the author. All the time. I would forget. I would forget and in the middle of the class I would remember and I'd say the name of the book and the person we would start chatting we get in trouble I was like okay I'm gonna get kicked out of my bar method class so that's when I started my blog and the blog was on WordPress and it's funny how I became through WordPress I became good friends with Linda Zagon who is Linda's book obsession just from that WordPress account and I you know I, I used it as just friends from high school what should I read family I didn't know that there was this community on Facebook. I eventually put it on Facebook and I, I couldn't believe it. It just, it morphed into followers. And I was like, oh, you know, I was very new to it. I wasn't really, you know, that was like maybe five years, you know, maybe seven years ago. I wasn't really, you know, what is Facebook? Up? You know, I'm seeing some friends from high school, college, you know, it's great. I'm connecting. But then there's this whole other world. You know, I stopped getting in trouble working out because people could then find the books I was reviewing. Um, I then started going to events. I, I live in Connecticut, so I would, as you, you know, I'd venture to events in New York City, and we did meet at one, and I would learn more about the publishing world, just sitting and listening and learn about interviewing, and I would meet authors, and I, you know, I'd venture in by myself. I started to go to book festivals, book expo, meet bloggers. And things started to click. I was learning just by listening, learning how to interview. I'm, I'm also, I interview authors. So it just took a lot of time. Um, and people would say to me, you know, you should do book tours. You should do book tours. And so I had done some book tours for some great outlets. And I was like, every time I would do them, I'd be like, well, how come they don't ask me to do this? Or if I did it this way, and then the I did it this way, became a business model that my husband and I worked on. I am a CPA and an MBA. So we, for six months, sat down and said, all the what ifs, what ifs, the tax implications, the starting a business, because I am an LLC. I do pay my taxes. I, you know, I'm a good citizen. <laughs> so it, it morphed into the tours. And, it, you know, it's funny. There's one author who would see me. She's like, where are those tours? I'm like, it's coming. It's coming. Every time I see her at an event. And, and what's really nice today is I have three tours going on um, for authors who, when I first started my blog, are now clients. And that's just like, you know. That's amazing when you make that, those connections. And there's a longevity to them as well. So uh, right. can we stop one minute and, and back up and explain what yeah. you mean by, by tours? Because that uh, may not be immediately understood right. by all of our viewers. So, um, you know, whether you're a blogger and you're on Facebook or TikTok or Instagram, you are reviewing books. And as an author, sometimes you're looking for an extra lift for somebody to review your book. And you don't maybe want to reach out and write them that message. You know, I have a book. Do you want to read it? It's always like that. You know, what if they say no, hurt feelings. So what my tours do, will the book, virtual? they're virtual. So I will find readers for a book. Um, and there's certain options I have and there's certain parameters I have for the bloggers as well as the authors. And I find the bloggers that meet the criteria for the book that the author wants um, 
reviewed. And again, that author might be independently published or with a big house or a smaller publisher. And it's a great way for an author to get reviews, but also if they're new or maybe they want to find new readership, but also that Instagram community. So find that community so that when you have a second book or a third book, you already have those 12 or 15 people who are wanting to read the next book. And for the blogger, it's great exposure. You get some, you know, it, you get int introduction to an author, a publisher, a bookstagram community. And, you know, in a nutshell, I'm bringing that together. It's a really wonderful community you've put together and a really smart business model, too. And, and you know, I've benefited from it in two ways, uh, which I'll, I'll mention just briefly. One is uh, the book that I am embarrassingly proud co-editor of, Our Prince of Scribes, Writers Remember Pat Conroy, got so much visibility uh, because, because of the book tour um, and introduced me to bloggers that I follow to this day whose, whose recommendations I value because I first encountered them that way. Uh, and the other gift you gave me is uh, reintroducing me to a friend from high school. I was, I was following the tour one day and a book called The Military Wife by a writer named Laura Trenum shows up. And I thought, that's odd. I went to high school with a girl named Laura Trenum that I've not seen in at that point, which was nearly 30 years. And I went to her website and it was her and, uh, and we <laughs> connected because of that. So it, it's really just phenomenal what can happen uh, by virtue of, of what you do. Uh, so thank you for doing it, first thank and you. foremost. Um, so, uh, you know, two questions come to mind right now. One is, is how do readers get access to these tours? How do they get access to Susie Approved? What do, what do they go to? Where do they find it? How do they connect? How do they follow it? So I have a website, Suzy Approved, which is on WordPress, but I'm basically, there's two websites on Facebook. Well, not websites, it's pages, Suzy Approved Book Tours, and then Suzy Approved, where I will post reviews. This year, I haven't posted as much. I have a child. I'm trying to do college apps and the other one at school, hoping he doesn't get COVID. So the Suzy Approved reviews is I'll post maybe books are on sale, Goodreads giveaways, some reviews, some spotlights. And then the tour page is Suzy Approved Book Tours. Those are also on Instagram. And if somebody is interested or an author, um, it's, you know, there's Suzy Approved Book Tours at gmail.com is where typically a blogger will write me or an author will write me. But typically those pages also on Twitter, you can find a way to me. I don't ask, you know, I don't have a Google Doc to say sign up, even for an author, I like to have for each party, I like to chat with the author and understand their expectations. I also like to chat with the bookstagrammer on, via email about, you know, how do they handle certain situations? I take a look at their Instagram page, you know, just to get an idea what, what genres they like to read, where are they located? Because sometimes I have, you know, folks overseas. So, you know, the chances of me sending a book out by a publisher is going to be difficult or you're a digital reader or you're not you know it, you know it's stuff stuff like that so i tried to protect both parties i'm very protective of the bloggers as well as well as the author that's important because you are kind of a matchmaker between the, mm -hmm. between those two worlds uh, between readers and writers uh, both writers of the books and the writers of the reviews of the blogs and, the, and all of that so folks can follow your you, you on facebook on twitter on instagram instagram as they find reviewers and bloggers that they like through those sections they can follow folks as well which i which i found you know just to be incredibly rewarding um and let's let's uh focus in a little bit more and we talked about this a little bit just now but how writers uh, and publishers how authors and publishers can kind of reach out to you and and see if they have a book that would be of interest for your model how do they do that they will send me an email. Um, sometimes, you know, sometimes they'll be at like, apparently there was a panel that took place and I was talked about on a panel. Um, sometimes it's meeting me. I go, to the, I go to a few book festivals. I went to Book Expo. I don't sell the tours because I truly want, you know, I don't solicit. I want the author who's interested. I don't want to strong arm somebody into doing a tour. So it's typically the, I've been running off of word of mouth and, it, and, I'm, and I tend to repost on my Suzy Approved tour page, I repost all my bloggers' posts so they can get a flavor of the tours. And you know, they can also see on the Facebook page 
the amount of people are, who are on each tours. So typically an author will write me and say, you know, just send me your information. So I'll, if they're interested, I'll send them. I have, you know, as I said, when I worked on a business model, I also have a sheet that details about me, my pricing, my history, like I'm a CPA and MBA, you know, how I operate. And then we take it from there. I don't follow up. I tend to not, if they're interested, they're interested. If, you know, they're not, I, you know, it's icky. And I just say, you know, make sure you talk to other tour operators. You know, I want to make sure they make sure you check my references. There's a lot of great tour people. There's a lot, there's space for everybody. There's room for everybody in this space. Yeah. We can all support authors and bloggers, but I like them to just, you know, make sure that they're making the right decision for them. I might not be the right person for them, you know, and it comes down to, you know, the, I have different options depending on their wallet. And we talk about the different strategies. And so, you know. It, it works out. Sounds great. And it sounds like something, uh, you know, at least from what I've seen as a viewer that authors want to participate in multiple times. If, if they have a good uh, relationship and a good reaction from doing a tour, they'll come back around for the next book or the book after that. Or then, you know, sometimes I, which is really, I love when an author is like finishes a tour and then like, can we do it again? So I, <laughs> I have a few of them that, you know, want to keep the, I say, especially in this environment with COVID with so many books, as they, I say, keep your foot on the gas pedal, you know, you know, keep the book out there, keep, yes. keep it moving, you know, keep, keep, you know, it's just the eyes, get the eyes on that book, you know, the That's rest will work its way out. Nice. When, uh, yes, keeping the momentum going has been absolutely mm -hmm. key. Uh, in, you know, in uh, in an average year, which admittedly this is not, about how many tours, how many books would you be featuring through Suzy Approved? Okay, so the COVID year, 2020, I did 145 tours. Wow. Um, this year, mm -hmm. I have booked 175. That's and incredible. I've done cover reveals for 2022. I have a list going into 2022. A non-COVID year, I had about 80 so it's it's ramped up you know ask my kids how our dinners go they're you know they're <laughs> they're like please mom <laughs> you know can you fold the laundry you know you know it, it's just they 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 hope for me to just get out of the house go to events so they can order in they just you know <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, that too is momentum. That's the thing we just talked yeah. about. So obviously, uh, the Susie Approved Tours have that right now. And I congratulate you on that. Thank success. you. And I thank, thank you for everything you're doing for readers and writers, for all of us. You know, I say to anyone starting, it's slow and steady. You know, it's this was not something that I just did this year. I started five years ago. The tours were four years ago. You know, you take your time. You learn. I'm less nervous talking to an author. I'm less nervous talking to about a project you know, about the product I have, you know, the beginning you're, you know, it, it was good. I can grow with it. And I'm, you know, I've gone, go to events, listen to zoom calls. I, no one can sit and tell you how the industry works. I've, I've picked it up just going to our event in the city, just yeah. understanding how yeah. it works. It, you know, the publishing industry is just interesting to learn. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to publishers weekly, just read what you're seeing. You know, it, it, it'll come together. It just takes time to understand it. It's something we talk about at the Conroy Center a lot under the umbrella of being a good literary citizen. You know, if you're a writer and you want to sell a book, you you can't be a guy who shows up out of nowhere with a rectangle. You have to have been a part of mm -hmm. the community. You have to have been involved in multiple ways. And it's a fascinating world to learn. Mm -hmm. You don't pick it up immediately, but you do pick it up, uh, as you say. So, yeah, I think everything you're doing is smart. And obviously, it's paying off for you. Thank you. For, for everybody who benefits from the tours. So thank, thank you. you. Thanks for being with us yep. for our, uh, our virtual Low Country Book Club convention. And thanks for making a little time this morning to record this with me. Thank you so much. I hope to see you again in the city or, or elsewhere down at your center. <laughs> I look forward to it. Yeah. Thank you, Susie. Okay. Bye.